The recent decision made by the UCD Student Union President to remove information about access to safe abortion from their Freshers' Handbook has faced major backlash from pro-choice groups since its announcement. DCU-SU President Niall Behan is among one of her many critics, saying that as a pro-choice student union they disagree with her decision and that there was probably a personal agenda in the removal of the information. Like any student that walks in our door um, with any sort of, of illness, whether it be mental or physical, um, or even something like an abortion, which is a, an extremely um, tough time for someone in their lives, I think they just need as much support as they can um, and will continue to offer that. But something like access or information to abortion services is definitely something that we would love to put into our manuals next year. The 1995 Regulation of Information Act that restricts who can provide information on abortion also states that abortion is not to be promoted or advocated. According to Dr. Vicky Conway, this makes it contestable whether the UCDSU handbook was in breach of that law if the information available was just a factual statement about a clinic abroad. This also brings into question DCUSU's decision not to make any information available to students about access to safe abortion. Anyone facing a crisis pregnancy needs support and they need information, um, not just on abortion services, they do need information on all services. So I would be of the view that in the short term even, I mean, this could be up on the website, it doesn't need to be in handbooks, um, because I think you're actually failing students in that position if we don't address it sooner. Um, the other thing I'd want to say on that is, just because we're having a referendum next summer, we know that's happening. We don't know what the content of that will be. If we end up with a restrictive referendum that provides abortion for that say situations of rape or fatal fetal abnormalities, which I really hope won't happen. I hope we have a much broader referendum. But if it is limited, then the vast majority of abortions that take place, I would say 95 to 98%, will still be outside of that legislation. Despite the ongoing changes around the Glasnevin campus, a change to the information currently available from the SU regarding access to safe abortion remains at a standstill. Adam Daly, DCU TV News.